At some point, we are being questioned, or shall we say, we also raise the question if really there is a resurrection that after death, the, the body will have its form, a glorious form, and that is, it, it will be resurrected. As we pose as a question in our gospel reading today, a woman happens to marry seven brothers and leaving no descendant. And the question is, at the resurrection, when they arise, whose wife will she be? But the answer, we have heard in, in Jesus when he said, when they rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but they are like the angels in heaven. Fully enough, we are being reminded once again that in the glory of God in heaven, when we share of the resurrection in the glory of God, we no longer seem as we are today. We no longer considered as, as, as husband and wife, but we are generally as brothers and sisters. And uh, we are like angels in heaven. And we've seen here, my dear brothers and sisters, that generally we know that in heaven there will be perfection. There will be perfect peace. There will be perfect joy. There will be uh, the, the, the ultimate happiness that we desire and we long for because we are already in God, with God in heaven. And here, we are once again reminded, my dear brothers and sisters, that as long as we live, then we should also try to make already experience of heaven or being part in establishing the kingdom of God here on earth. That in every, in, in every day that we exist, we do already little act of kindness, uh, good deeds, uh, remaining and becoming faithful to God's will. And this is actually the invitation for, for such we, we also establish the kingdom of God here on earth. Kasi sabi po natin, parang sa lupa, langit na rin when we continuously uh, do the will of God, do kinds, act of kindness, and we are becoming faithful to the commandments of God, and we, we faithfully do His will, then somehow there is already an experience of heaven here on earth. And here, my dear brothers and sisters, it takes one to believe about the resurrection. Especially, one has to have a faith in God to believe that there is such a resurrection of the dead. And I think this is what gives us hope and gives us meaning in all the things that we do. That though we see our struggles, difficulties in life, our conditions in life, there is, there is purpose, there is meaning in everything that we do because we look forward to the glory of God and the resurrection of the dead. We just believe, brothers and sisters, this is what gives meaning to us, that there is more to expect and there is more to look forward to, and there is better life that awaits us. That's why the life that we have today, that is given to us, to make use of it, and to make the most out of it, and to live a life filled with meaning, purpose, living it with love and charity.